6.2 problem set going over rates and unit pricing. Let's look at uh, let's look at number five and get us started here. The flow of water from a water faucet can fill a three gallon container in or per 15 seconds. So, three gallon container in 15 seconds. Give the ratio of gallons to seconds as a rate in gallons per second. No plural there, so we want on the bottom one second as usual. We're always going to be looking at trying to get this to be a one. So, all we're going to do is take three divided by 15 and we end up with 0 0.2. So, handy to use a calculator on this. So three gallons to 15, if you divide, if you take three divided by 15, you will make this bottom number of one automatically, and whatever answer you get on the top will be what we're looking for. So just being able to divide through these fractions. All right, if we look at uh, number eight, the gas tank on a car holds 60 liters. At the beginning of a six hour trip, the tank is full. So we've got a six hour trip. At the end of the trip, we have 12 liters left. What is the rate at which the car uses gas in liters per hour? Okay, so we're trying to figure out how many liters per hour this car uses. Usually we're worried about miles per gallon, but in this one they're talking about liters per hour. Um, Kind of like on an airplane, you know, your fuel consumption you figure out is 6 gallons per hour or 10 gallons per hour. So it's kind of the same thing. Liter is a quantity similar to gallons, but in the metric system. All right, so we've got 60 liters to start with. We had 12 liters left. Well, if that's the case, then we used um, 48 liters on the trip if we have 12 left. So this is the number we want now. We don't care about the 12 or the 60. All we're concerned about was how many liters we ended up using. So 48 liters we used in or per six hours. So there's our fraction that we're looking for. You just divide that out and you end up with eight liters per hour. So 48 divided by six, the bottom will always be a unit one and that's what you get for an answer there brings us up to, let's do a one or two on unit pricing on page number 460. Let's look at, oh, well, let's look at 17. We've got a 20 ounce package of frozen peas and it's priced at 99 cents. Give the unit price in cents per ounce. Now notice they gave us the 20 ounce is the first number, the 99 cents is the second number, but the instructions say give the unit price in cents per ounce. So they want it written as 99 cents per 20 ounces. So notice it says 99 cents. When they give it to you, 99 cents, they're not putting a decimal in front. If you were writing it as a dollar, it would be 0.99. So, and they put a dollar sign here. But since we're dealing with pennies, we got 99 of them, so there's no decimal there. All you're going to do is divide this out. 99 cents divided by 20, and you're going to get 4.95 cents per one ounce. So make sure you put your cents there. If you don't put your cents sign there, it, it'll look like it's $4.95. So the cents sign is important there. So as far as converting and things, that's all you do for that. Um, let's see what else we have here. <clears throat> Number 25. Using unit rates is a way to compare prices of different size packages, kind of like we did with the gallon of milk earlier, to see which price is really the best deal. Suppose we compare the cost of a box of Cheerios sold at three different stores. So we go to one store, oh they're imaginative, they put A, and for an 11.3 ounce box it was $4. At store B, 
we're buying an 18 ounce box and it's for $4.99 and at store C we've got a 180 ounce box holy cow oh a case <laughs> for $52.00 in 90 cents. Why you would need that many Cheerios, I have no idea. But they want to know which size is the best buy. Well, <clears throat> these are all in ounces, so we don't have to change any of that, but we do have to make each one of these one ounce here in order for us to compare cost per ounce. So what we're going to do to change these to ounces is we're going to take four dollars per 11.3, $4.99 per 18, and $52.90 per 180. So what we'll do is we'll divide these out, get in your calculator, so 4 divided by 11.3, $4.99 divided by 18, and $52.90 divided by 180, and you will find out that the 18 ounce box actually sells for .277 per ounce. So because I have a decimal and a dollar sign, this is 27 cents or almost 28 cents per ounce compared to the other three. Okay, well that's our 6.2 problem set. We're ready for you to do the homework.